Hey everybody, it's me, Richard, with Nightmares. Anyone? <laughs> I don't have my beard anymore. Oh my god, long story short. So I was trimming my beard the other day, and the phone rang, and I was went like this, and I heard the phone, and I went like this, and I took the electric razor and went right across my mustache. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to uh, shave it all off. <laughs> I'll grow it back. Uh, <laughs> but a funny thing is, I would love to know if you guys like the smooth skin or did you like the, the beard and mustache? I really liked the beard and mustache, but you guys, <laughs> being a man and growing a beard and mustache, it's easier to manscape than to have to take a care of a beard and mustache. It's a bitch. So... Before I get into today's review of this book from 2015, The Dead House by Don Kurtagich, I want to show you guys one of my uh, Christmas gifts. So, Bruce's sister's family went to New Orleans, I think in November, for a business trip, and they all went to the voodoo capital of the world. And this is what I got. Yes, I got a voodoo New Orleans Square t-shirt. Love it. Love, love, love it. I've never been to New Orleans, but I will go. Um, voodoo scares me, like I said in the in the last video where I got my uh, little Lily uh, figure. Yeah. <laughs> I believe in voodoo. So, you guys... Come back right after the intro and I'll get into the dead house. Everybody, welcome back. <laughs> I just laughing. I'm in a good mood today. So, uh, if you guys like horror as much as I do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button right there. <laughs> yeah, ring that bell so you get notifications of when I post another one. Uh, I'm working on a really cool diamond painting right now. Um, it's going to be given away on the channel. Um, but I'm going to wait a little while because I don't know how I want to finish it off. Uh, but uh, so, yeah, speaking of the channel, if you guys love horror and if you like what I've been doing, give me a thumbs up, please. If you do like it, if you don't, don't give me a thumbs down. Just uh, yeah, say, Richard, uh, can you do this or this? But if you guys have any um, requests, I've been getting emails from people saying, uh, can you do a double tier something? I don't know what that is. Sorry. But um, if you guys want a book read or a book for me to listen to or review if I've already read it, all you got to do is drop a line down in the basement right down there. And uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll see what I can do, you guys. So let's get into the review of this book right here. Now, you guys know that I read And the Trees Crept In first. And um, I have both of these books in hardback, and the trees kept crept in is right there. The Dead House is somewhere here in the library. I need to find it because um, I asked who I thought I loaned it to, and they said they gave it back to me. So, yeah, I've got the hardback floating around here somewhere. But let's get into The Dead House. So, um, as you guys saw, here's the cover of my tablet. I'm obsessed with these horror stickers. Yeah, I'm really obsessed with these horror stickers. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm in junior high school again or something. 
So, um, let me see. I'm going to go into... Oh, you guys want to see a great picture of uh, Butters that I took the other day? Yeah, he's my bud. He's my buddy. I love this cat. How can you not love your animals? Um, let's get into my review. So, um, a lot of you follow me on Goodreads. A lot of you don't even know what Goodreads is, and a lot of you don't have Goodreads accounts. Um, I will leave the link to my channel, to my page on my Goodreads account right there. It's under Richard K. Middle Initial Wilson. K is for Kevin, my middle name. Um, I am going to read what I wrote on my Goodreads account for the review on this book because I it's it's been over a week. It's been about five days since I read it, and uh, I'm right now listening to three books at once. And I'm physically reading one, so uh, I just don't want to forget anything about this book. Now, you guys know that I gave And the Trees Crept In five stars. Absolutely love that book. The formatting of the books is so hard to read. That's why I listen to the audiobooks. I did the same with The Dead House. I listened to the audiobook through my Libby app, through my local uh, library here in Sacramento. Uh... Just go to uh, Libby.com. You're going to key in the address or the, your local library, put in your library card number, and you guys will have thousands of horror audiobooks you can listen to for free. So let's get into The Dead House. I wrote another almost five star read from author Kurtagich. This was a very clever and terrifying read that deals with mental illness, dissociative personality disorder, and witchcraft and demonic possession in ways that I had never read before. Now, take the 1976 classic nonfiction book by Flora Retta Scheiber, right there, Sybil, which was turned into a phenomenal Emmy Award winning TV miniseries starring... Sally Field, she played Sybil. Um, take that book by Flora Retta Scheiber and mix it with any horror classic of your liking and be ready to be thrilled and scared at the same time. Not as great as her and the trees crept in though. Wow, for this book being the young, this young author's first book is absolutely amazing and quite incredible. It reads like a crime thriller about the Johnson incident at a school where five high school students die tragically in a fire. But then the story becomes dark, very dark. Carly Johnson is tormented by her sister Caitlin, but Caitlin does not exist. Or does she? Dr. Lansing, Carly's therapist, tells her she is only in her imagination. Yeah, she tells Carly that Caitlin's only in her imagination and in her mind. That is until all hell breaks loose. One of the Johnson girls only comes out in the daylight. The only comes out at night. The only other, the, the other only comes out at night. This book being written in the heart to follow and read, in my opinion only, like I said in the last video where I did In the Trees Crept In, these books were so hard to read and to be able to tell. Um, if you guys didn't see the video, pull up my last video. I have a picture of the formatting of the, both of those books. It was very confusing for me. Um, but listening to the book works so well as an audiobook that it, I cannot recommend this enough. Now, if you have no way to listen to it, as my dear friend Christy cannot do through her local library. Yes, Christy Randazzo ha does not have Libby in Texas where she lives. Their library doesn't support it or something. But uh, so take out a free 30 day trial to something just to listen to this one. It is amazing and extremely well done. With this being labeled as a YA thriller, once again, I am confused why. What considers a book YA, young adult thriller slash horror? I don't know. Um, I thought this was an incredibly written horror novel with just the perfect amount of gore and violence before it became overdone. Well done to Don Kurtagich. This was my second read by her after being bowled over by And the Trees Crept In, which I did give five stars. 
this one for me gets four fire flames. I gave it actually a four and a half, but you can't put halves on uh, Goodreads. So you guys, yes, as I said, these two girls, um, one comes out at night and one comes out in the daytime. Now, these girls are completely different. Um, as in all my reviews, this is my opinion only. I will not give you any spoilers. Uh, now, I had not read any reviews on this book because I didn't want it to be ruined before I read the book. Once I read it, I went in and uh, read reviews on Goodreads that people had given it. And um, it was funny. People either love this book or they hated this book. I loved it. Um, I really, really, really liked the author's way of writing. And this one was just, it was so intense. And um, I wish it would have been narrated by the same girl that did uh, the authors and the trees crept in. But the lady that does this one does a phenomenal job. Uh, just like Polly Lee did in uh, in The Trees Crept In. Now, there's another character in The Dead House that literally just freaked the shit out of me. Um, it was emotional. It was very sad at the end. Um, but it's very, hor it's very horrifying. It's terrifying. Um, mental illness is nothing to laugh at. Uh, a lot of times when an author takes mental illness and they mix it in with horror, it can either be done um, overly ridiculously stupid, not with this book. This book, it was handled very tastefully. Um, it's very scary. It's very intense. Um, the sound effects, the music, everything in this, this author's uh, works is just... I love this girl's writing. And um, there is a companion book to this. I think it's a novella. It's called The Nada Papers or The Nada Tapes or something. Um, I have it on hold through my Libby app. So as soon as that comes available, I will be listening to that one. And I will review that next for you guys. So uh, today is Thursday. Hopefully you guys are having a great week. Um... I still haven't talked to B up in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. Hopefully she's doing okay. Um, we have kind of texted back and forth, but I want to say a huge shout out to Larry Yance. It was good talking to you this morning. I'm glad you're doing good. Um, who else did I want to uh, yell and shout out to? Adriana in New York. I'm glad you guys have got snow. I'm so jealous. I'm so, so, so jealous. Uh, what else did I want to say? I have a lot of stuff on my uh, palette right now that I'm working on, reading, listening to. But yeah, you guys, so I screwed up, <laughs> screwed up my beard. I actually miss it because I really, really liked it. I was just getting it to where I really, really liked it. But, but uh, yeah, so I want to say thank you again to Catherine, Janet, Jim, Kevin, and Carol for the shirt. I love it. Um, how can you go wrong with a voodoo shirt? Especially, mm, one that came from New Orleans. So you guys, if you want to be scared, either pick up the book or pick up the audiobook, The Dead House by Don Kurtagich. It's a little over 400 pages. It did come out in 2015. It was a first book, like I said earlier. And you guys, I'm Richard with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. And I will see you in the next one. Like always, pick up a good scary book. Have a great nightmare. Um, and like always, be kind to people. Don't be a bully. Uh, you know, I have to throw that in because I've been accused as being a bully. And uh, yeah, it just people are, have been emailing me, you know, saying, Richard, can you tell us what happened to the last channel? I really don't want to bring in bad karma and bring up the last channel, but I will. I will tell you guys um, it's only been a little over four or five months, so I just don't want to bring up that bad karma with those people that caused all that stuff for me. Um, but what else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, just, uh, just remember, live your life like a book. 
don't turn that last page because once you do you guys it's over i'm richard with nightmares tears anyone i'll see you in the next video pick up a good scary book i'll see you later guys i still haven't put lily out because i don't know if i want to put her out now or wait till october i still haven't heard from adriana where is your lily i know she has it in the basement but is she on display or is she in her box Poor little thing. I'll see you later, you guys. Bye.